Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Right then, look. Look at this motley crew of psychopaths. Okay. Say hello, everybody. How you doing? Hello. You wouldn't, you wouldn't take them to meet your mum, would you? No, I mean, look at them. Bloody hell, man. You look mental. They're great, though, aren't they, my mates? Anyway, um, so what we're doing today is we're doing this uh, this moat here. And how long does this how long does this moat go on for? Um, Come forward a little bit. It's a kilometre. It goes around the circumference of the fort, and it's about a kilometre. How long? Is, how far is a kilometre? Uh, three quarters of a mile. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh, it's, it's a thousand metres. A thousand. I didn't know. Test we have Alan. Oh, come here. This is my mate Alan. He's a. Uh, my mate oh. Alan. He's a. He's a psychopath. Here's my mate Matt. You've seen him on the other videos. He's well funny. Bit of a psychopath. They do. You know him. He looks like the bones. He looks like a psychopath. I'm actually a psychopath. And little Dan. <laughs> little Dan. <laughs> little Dan man. I'll tell you some stories about this guy. But I'm not going to because it's illegal. Well, right, let's go have a look. I know it's mental. Look at uh, this, this is awesome. See, unlike smoking and all those other places that we visit, this isn't open to the public. So only we allowed in it today. Um, so it's all completely uncharted land. We don't know what's in any of this stuff. You know? Yeah. And it's pretty wild, to be honest with you. Right, this we're gonna do a walk of death along here because we found a doorway. Windows up. Unbrick them. <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, this is this the masonry we weren't supposed to be standing under. Right, we are in Adventureland. We are in the Adventure Moat, which is part of Adventureland. If you go around the corner, you'll find the Adventure Horse. Right, so here we have no. another moat. No. 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 And Tom's found something adventurous. Tommy, what have you found, sir? I think there was a building on top. There. Wow, and there's a big... Hey, I've got a theory. Last week's video, yeah. where you nearly died. Uh, there's okay. a link below. Um, do you remember right at the end, we found the drawbridge? Same as Smokey. Yeah. Could have been. Or stairwell. What do you reckon? Nah, nah. Do you reckon it'd be easier access to it? Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's, a, that's a stairwell, and uh, between those two bits there, I reckon there was a wooden bit. So in this here. instance, Tom, do you, yeah. would you would you tout me as a blind man describing the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? We're all blind. And you know what causes you that? You watch yourself, Don't sunshine. You this is what happens. This is the type of uh, <laughs> this is the type of thing that gets you into all sorts of trouble, falling down big holes. Dan, you're you're a park crow. See how close you can get. Yeah, it's a young one. Though. Is it injured? Yeah, it's had it, mate. Eat it. Matt's just made a really, really good point, and he said that this bird, it, it, because no people come in here, he doesn't even know what we are. I say that we could change evolution. If we're nice to that bird, it might start the process of birds not being so freaked out by humans. Make them easier to hunt, won't it? Or it make oh, God damn thing. it, man! <laughs> so we're, we're walking forwards, obviously, towards what now seems to be yet another moat. It's very moat. Whoa, you fool! That thing tried to attack me. Yeah, that would be the mum. That would be the mum to that one. Yeah, why me? Because why is it always ghosts and birds that are attracted to me? Yeah. What do you mean I'm ginger? Red looks different in, in birds' eyeballs. Bloody racist bird. <laughs> hey, Tom. Hello. How about the new fit? How about that as the drawbridge? That looks pretty cool. Do you think that could be the drawbridge That's we saw last well. week? It's exactly the same for mirror image as the other one, isn't it? Is it that one's still got its hand around it. Don't worry about it, Mum. You, your kid's back there. You'll, you'll be fine. You be could fine. be taking this the wrong way. That could be Odin's raven. Who's your Viking? Right, Tom has um, found himself um, in some sort of adventure mode again. Now, we know that this doesn't tend to end well, but he's very, very enthusiastic, I think the word is, like a five-year-old child has just found his willy. <laughs> right? This bridge here, this, this bit here, this is what we found last week the other side of. This was a bridge that went all the way across where Tom is with his willy up there. And this part over here... We believe probably goes out to the road. Tom, do a bit of investigation, mate. This doesn't feel safe. It feels like... Oh, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, oh shit! Right, are you okay? Tom is now yes. traversing the stairway. Of the... Look at him go. He's like a Aztec warrior. Yeah, Tom, Cam, Tom, Cam. Warboys is taking beautiful pictures of the scenery. Mark Bones is going to look for a body. Uh, Matt's just enjoying the day, and Dan is thinking, how could I actually like do something on camera 
which isn't as bad as what Tom does. <laughs> like, so Dan's next for the death march. And here's me looking at you, looking at me, and at you, looking at me. Behold a troop of silverback gorillas in their natural habitat. That one's picking his bum, look. <laughs> yeah, look, this is nice. Look, here we are, we're up here, look. Steps on the other side, makes you want to dive roll across there but I don't think we're going to do anything exciting this week you could looking at this you could climb up up here so let me just show you where I am talking rubbish I've just come up these steps okay climbed up there came up these steps and on the other side of these steps that like there was a wooden staircase or maybe some kind of drawbridge here on the other side there's more steps that goes around the corner Jobs are good. I think that we need to test this out as a matter of theory as to if this actually works. It's a theoretical concept at the moment and we need a bit more practicality about it. Yeah, well, so, Dan, are you going to get up there? No. Why? I ain't that stupid. <laughs> Stop swearing. At least he's washed his mouth out this week. Doesn't say you can't eat it though, does it? I would have had that video done like a day earlier if I wasn't able to edit out all your bleeps. <laughs> oh, my bleeps, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm getting quiet today. A tasty snack. Oh, that this doesn't... is how they, okay, right, I see now. No, right, the only climb, climb paint is here. That's it's why actually grease. Near up. kit, near kit. Just did he just did. You licked it? Yeah, it's <laughs> You've got to tell me when that stuff happens. No, don't eat it. <laughs> Damn, I was hungry, but now you've said it. <laughs> 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 the Bridge of Doom! Look at that! That is danger on a stick, isn't it just? <laughs> danger on a stick? Yeah. No one's going to be stupid enough to walk across that. Yeah, what a Stick mark. man! Are you, go, are, you, are you going across that, Mark? <laughs> no, he ain't going across that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like height. I don't like height. She's not watching. Debbie, we love you. You're about eight foot tall. What do you mean you don't like heights? <laughs> we didn't tell Mark to do it. He's he's just... I think feels really pathetic because it's so low. It's like an old man just... <laughs> just, it, just is it, this this oh is your future, God. man. This is 20 years down the line. I just heard this end move. Really? Don't mess that buddlier up. Mark? Yeah. Do us a favour and run across the rest of it. <laughs> oh, no, can't... seriously. Oh, no, no, Get no. over it. I can't look, man. I saw it wobbling. Oh, I, Shut up. I hate heights. I saw it. I saw something. It was. It felt like it was what this side was as well, wasn't it? So Congratulations. Say, honestly. Dude, how are you going to get back? You've got to come back this way. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. I'm getting away from it. No, no, don't do it now. I've just been the last bit. Would you have gone across it? Just a question. Would you have gone across it without the handrail? Uh, maybe, maybe 20 years ago. Okay. So that's, a, that's a viable answer. Before the invention of kids. And handrails. <laughs> but I take that back. Someone has been up here recently because there's rubbish everywhere. And there's... No, that's old rubbish. A, that's amazing, man. This is where... 3 candycouk Don't visit that. Don't visit that. I don't think it's going to be... It's not going to end well, is it? 3 uk. And they've done a bit of like Satan worship in here, look. Hooks on the walls, a bit of good bit of What are you doing, you fool? I don't know what that was. A little really, landmine. Really powerful bubble wrap. Oh, that's plastic, okay. And what is adjacent? Well, it would have been a stairway down, but look. Oh, that look leads to where we um, <clears throat> accessed it from the ditch. That's that tunnel we started to go in from the ditch. Oh, oh. my God, there's treasure down there. That's cool, that's I wouldn't cool. say that's treasure. I'll say it's that's a load of I'd say that's years of people's beer that they've syringes sat on that bench well. and thrown down there. There's yeah. got to be syringes down there. Yeah, stick of the dump. Oh. Look at this! <laughs> Should we go sit down there? Yeah, let's stay! Yeah. Oh, I recognise that carpentry. That's definitely Eastern European. Look, look at that! That's a fish Take seat. a seat! Tom, look. Look what it says there on graffiti language. It's in Take the a seat. Spade. Tom, look at that. Look, the brim of the spade. It's brilliant. <laughs> Oh wow, this is... Oh, watch out, this thing's sticking out the wall with rusty bits on. Okay. Oh, rusty bits. We'll have a seat and see what... Oh yeah, man. Tom's just pointed this out. Look, there's that number again, guys. To part of the North Korean password. <laughs> and that goes, we don't know where that goes. Let's have a little look around before we have a sit in a chat. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to leave all my stuff up here, I think. Really? 
Oh, yeah, we wow. don't know if this goes anywhere, do we? It's been, it's been used. Someone's, someone's living here, man. They are living. Look how well swept out. That's what that. Um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a dead body down there. It's got to oh, be. It's smell it. Crazy. Oh, nice. There's an old book here. Oh, that's creepy. Here, yeah, picture, dude. <laughs> Take a picture of that. What's the book, Tom? I don't want it. Some dude's wallet, the bed. Look at that book as well. What? I can't. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Look at that book. It's like someone's lived here, haven't they? Yeah. Where's my chair? He's taken out his teeth using this. Right, dude. That's blocked off around the corner, isn't it? Mm. Where does that go then? Get in there and see. My girth is too much for that, I think, that hole. This is um, very unsavoury in here, actually. Very unsavoury. Um, it's a bit skanky, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, I'm going back here to chill so we can decide where we're going to go next. Matt, if it was a zombie apocalypse, would you would you choose this place to? Without Tom and Dan there, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would you choose this place? No, there's only one way in and one way out. Oh no, is there a way out through there? Yeah. Oh, well, then, then, uh, probably then it will, I would consider it, yeah. It's not a fire hazard. No, it's just that uh, if people come in through there, you want to be able to go out of there. Okay, then, all right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, so we're just taking a pew of this. Uh, in there, you've seen what's in there. In here is like a, just a same thing, really, yeah? Probably, was it a mirror of this side? Just Most likely. It just goes outside. Just, oh, okay, cool. Is there a path right that goes on, or? Yeah, we're going to follow that path around now. So, uh, we've split into two groups. Mark, um, Dan, and Tom have gone one side of the moat to look for the tunnels we're looking for. And we're, uh, me, Matt, and War Boys has gone this way. And it's proper, proper, like, I love the way the foliage grows down here. It's because of the, the habitat, isn't it? And we're trying to get through, and we're gonna try and find that tunnel downwards it's got to be here somewhere got some sort of building over there mark's lagging behind because mark wore shorts and we're walking through a field of stinging nettles <laughs> there we go that's a rubbish in there very nice that's what we do we throw our old hamsters cages and our dirty nappies down in an old Listed war ruin. Ah, and here is our Second World War authentic barbed wire. This is the real deal. This barbed wire is the real deal from the Second World War. Look at that. That is history. Do you know why they're like that? Why? From the First World War, because they used to bang in the pins. Yeah. Germans were here, yeah, shoot at you, so they got the screws. Used to screw it in at night, so they put the barbed wire up. That no one knows, no one used there. Nice and quiet, yeah. Yeah, cool. Right, we're going off down there. It's like stand by me when they're looking for the dead body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dum, dum, do, do, dum, dum, dum. Right, there's that World War Two barbed wire. Tom was going on about. Be careful. Do, do, dum, dum, do, dum. <laughs> so we're um. I don't have a tunnel, but there's a suitcase at the bottom of it. What is in the case? We're gonna to have to get one of us down there uh, to look at that. Because why would you chuck a suitcase down there? It's sank in it, isn't it? Uh, anyway, these guys have found a tunnel up here, so I'm gonna go check it out. Right, so this rusty barbed wire, it is everywhere, all the way through the smoke. And if you look, you can see it in various stages. Of degradation look hey, here it is yeah. all rusty and nasty Tom, and then it goes there. even rustier Tom, down there there's a hoover dam <laughs> the hoover dam i don't know what that means mark Wait, i would mate. laugh politely but Wait, i don't know what you're going on about hmm. yeah, nice one yeah. <laughs> must be the old hoover dam then yeah, it must be the old hoover dam. i reckon that's the old hoover dam that but <laughs> well, matt's on a recce into this tunnel. Oh! Load that first bit, mate. What's going the other side, dude? 
more moat. Well, I do reckon I'm going to sit here and wait for the other guys. So that's where they are. And oh. they're looking through there. And the other guys, hopefully, they're going to come up from that side. This literally goes underneath the road. We're in a moat. I can hear the cars above, obviously. Yeah, we've just got to see what's through there. Right, what have we got here? So we've got a fork, this goes two different ways. Is this where we split up and get murdered one at a time? <laughs> no, we're all right, I'll stick with Mark because he's the ob obviously the murderer. <laughs> cool, okay. So Chris and Matt will be down round to the right and round to the left will probably be where the, uh, the fort is. Let's have a look. Look down here. So we've come to this fork. We've got that that way, we've got voices off that way, so let's see if we can follow this. Okay, it's that time of day again, we are having our beers, our beverages, um, which is great, Matt. So we've got Matt, Danny, Tom and me. Um, we didn't find the tunnels that we're looking for, sorry about that. We did have a laugh on the way there, though, we did have a bit of an adventure. Do you think there are any under there? I think uh, we didn't find any tunnels today, but we will live to tunnel another day. Ball bags. <laughs> Dan, do you reckon there's tunnels under there? There's got to be tunnels under there, but I not the ones... I think there might be more rooms, but not proper tunnels like we've been in before. No, I don't think so either. Matt? I think there might be more interesting stuff down towards the port, towards the cliffs themselves. Oh, there's loads. Because like, like, we're sort of there, aren't we, in that little triangle. Oh, the whole of Dover, man. But, but I think more, with, but it's all overgrown, I think, <clears> if we dug our way <coughs> heading towards the sea. Yeah, yeah. There'd be more stuff there. We've got to find some of the ones that are actually not open. That's our mission. The trouble is, a lot of them are backfilled and caved in. Yeah. Oh well, we'll I'll figure it out. One with a cut, a big basket full of gold Kruger and coins. Yeah, it'd be nice. Anyway, my friends, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye. bye.